I just thought I'd put together some top tips for F322. So these are things that I see all the time and unfortunately it costs students lots and lots of silly little marks. Might seem like stating the obvious, but you wouldn't believe how many times I see these. So mass spectrometry, don't forget the positive charge on all of your formulae. Molecular formula, C2H5OH is not a molecular formula. So you'd have to do C2H6O. Mechanisms, curly arrows from bonds, not atoms. So that's the CC double bond, not the C atom. Curly arrows from the minus sign or the lone pair of your nucleophile. It's electrophilic, not electrophilic. EZ isomers. Always try and base your diagram on an ethene molecule. Then the examiner can see very clearly if your groups that you're comparing are on the same side of the double bond or opposite sides of the double bond. Repeat units. Don't forget about your end bonds. So that's these things here. And if you're going to put this bracket in, they must poke through. State symbols, if it asks for them, write them. Boltzmann curves, must start at the origin. And at the high energy part, it must asymptote. So I sometimes say it's like the plane that never lands. Significant figures, double check. Triple check. Units. Remember, moles are calculated using grams. Take care if the masses have been given in kilos, milligrams, tons, etc. Enthalpy profile diagrams. One way arrows, not double headed arrows. Infrared spectroscopy, it's always a good idea to annotate your spectra. So you could quite easily put on OH bond of a carboxylic acid, in this case, C double bond O, C single bond O, and so on. Include equations in your answer. If it says that, include them. And that's it. Good luck.